I'm saying, oh, Prince, we gonna miss your ass, cause you know you was a good one. Lord, I can't wait till I get up out of here. Look here, Ben. I got you. What you got for me? Knock it off. Shit, make it quick. Fuck that. Ah. Just like that. God damn. Boy, if your ass would have waited, would you have waited seven more motherfucking years? I'd have had your motherfucking ass, because it's going to take me seven more years to get the fuck up out of here. <gasps> purple clouds, purple clouds. Rest <laughs> in peace. Lord have mercy. How you doing, baby? <gasps> Darlene. Darling, please help me. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Can you help me, please? It hurts. It hurts so bad. It hurts. It hurts. I'm in pain, Darling. Can you help me, please? Oh, no, please help me. Help me. Hey! 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 Somebody come here! Get out of here! This bitch been here! This baby! And I don't know what the fuck to do! Just like that. Just like that. Hey, Johnson. What, man? Yo, get your motherfucking ass out of here. Move, man. Hey, you gotta come quick, man. I'm trying to, motherfucker. Get out of here. Shit. Something going down on B.E. What the fuck that got to do with me? It's one of your bitches. It's Nelly. You gotta come on, man. What? You gotta hurry up. Damn. Look, man, man here I come, man. Stay on your motherfucking knees, bitch. Don't you move. Fuck right back. My turn. Hogan. 
Tiger Hogan. This motherfucker know he's pretty. I ain't never seen a crackhead ass baby look this pretty. Girl, I'm gonna get me some dope and get me something. Buster Hearns has laid in a coma after his fight against the heavyweight champion, the Guatemalan. Hearns was carried from the ring on a stretcher and has not regained consciousness since. Buster Hearns, we have you in our prayers and we hope that you make a speedy recovery. My own goddamn video, y'all some roaches! Heard you got knocked out. Cockroaches, baby! Heard you got knocked out. Knocked out, I'm gonna knock your ass out. Fuck you, can't mind my face, man. Hey, you don't know what the fuck you fucking with. Heard you got knocked out, man. Fuck the media, fuck everybody. Everybody got something to say. Mayweather. Mayweather. That's real. Disgraced professional boxer Manny the Money Man Mayweather has held his first press conference to address the public about the ongoing sex scandal that has shattered his image overnight. Once the most popular boxing star Mayweather was nicknamed the Golden Boy, he hung out with the biggest stars and had his pick of Hollywood's finest women. He drove foreign cars, flew on private jets, and was always surrounded by his best friend, Money. However, his bad boy antics landed him in jail and they labeled him as a thug. Then he met superstar Ella Martin and turned his life around. They got married and started a family. Whoa. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Then he lost the biggest fight of his career. A left hook by Mayweather to the body of Hearn. Hearns has got Mayweather and against the ropes. Mayweather battling back. What an incredible upset. Hearns over Mayweather. Hearns left hook, right hook to the head. Mayweather's going down. Oh, that's it. Mayweather is on the gambit. Who could believe Hearns could accomplish the impossible? And to remedy the pain, he went back to his old ways. He started secret affairs with many women, but what happens in the dark will come to the light. This is his first time facing questions from the media, and here's what he had to say. I really want to take this time out to apologize to my family for all the shame I caused. And I also want to apologize to all my fans. I feel like I let them down in the fight with the Guatemalan going to be my last fight. I feel like I need to spend more time with my family. I need to take the time out to be a better father to my daughter and a better husband to my wife. That's all I got to say. Mayweather faces the loss of all his major endorsements. Corporate giants have dumped him as their point man and are removing all advertisements featuring Mayweather. God. Damn, man, why couldn't he keep it in his pants to after the fight? How are we doing on ticket sales? Not so good. Mayweather fans all turned their back on him. This was a hundred million dollar purse. They were supposed to split. Supposed to be the fight of the century. Of the century. I negotiated this shit. I refuse to take a loss on this, man. Bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch. No. What's up? Hearns was just pronounced dead at Los Angeles Memorial Hospital. Look, send flowers and a remarkable note to his family. Set up a press conference. Can shit get any worse than this, man? Oh. 
Hello? What? Oh, shit! That was Mayweather's manager. We're not gonna fight. <sighs> he heard about what happened to Hearns and was scared shitless. Oh, oh. What we gonna do, man? Pray. We need a prayer. Fighting is my only hope. Fighting is my life. I will fight with all my heart. I will be the last man standing. Yeah, man, what you eat? Why you always in the goddamn cash shoes, man? Why do you think I always win the fights? They're special. <laughs> I might need some of them motherfuckers too, man. You ain't even gotta worry about this shit, though, man. You got this, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want to do this one, man. Straight up, dog. I talked to homeboy over here, and I think maybe you just want to rethink this, man. It's not a problem, you know what I'm saying? I come up with something. Ali, man, you talking about him? Yeah, I That mean, dude don't look that tough to me. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about him right here, dog. That dude don't look tough? That motherfucker put 11 people in the hospital, G, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I don't what, want him to be number 12, dog. Nah, look, this shit is serious, right? Look, man, we rethink this one. We just, you know, play our cards right. Man, right. Man, I get man. you another fight, this dog. This dude a gangster or something? Who the fuck is he? Nah, How we know him? I, I, they call him High Tower, Sky Tower, some uh, shit. Now, nah, why the eight, fuck do I, they call him High Tower? Sky? Oh, really? I ain't got shit. Yeah. Damn. Damn. God damn. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna get you out of this one, dog. We gonna rethink this. You might need some more cashews, bro. Man, that's like that's like that's like Goliath right there, homie. That's like Jack and the Beanstalk. You ain't got nine lives, homie. No, bro. You ain't. You got one life. Cashews. You need vegetables, homie. You know, green keep you clean, dog. You know what I mean? You gotta go another route, homie. Come on, dog, dog. You ain't gotta do this, man. Dog. You know what I'm? I'm telling you, dog. Listen to me, dog. Don't get, don't play me. You're just going like that. You do. All right, man.
thing they will not be able to say, no matter what they say about me, is that when it was my time to say something, I didn't speak. Crazy, he's going in, bro. Man, he needs to be boxing, bro. Yeah. Damn, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm so on my rude, way. Dang. I've been trying to find someone, but no one wants to fight the Guatemalan, no matter how much the payout is. What the? Oh my God. Damn. Hold on for a minute. I'm about to fuck these little badass kids up. Can't y'all see I'm on the phone? What the hell got y'all so turned up anyway, man? What's so wrong with this dude? Let me see that. Nah. Don't make me get ugly. Man. It's too late for that. <laughs> oh, y'all. Let me see that. Oh. What the? Is this real? Yep. Oh, this shit is hard. Like my dick. <laughs> dick. What you say? Hey. You're not gonna believe this. I think our prayers have just been answered. Ashes to ashes, All right, just, just you gotta see it for yourself. I'll call you back. Let's go. Y'all both on front. How you gonna believe them over me? I'm your husband. Then you my husband. Then nobody. I can't believe you. You acting like this. I'm acting like this. This is ridiculous. You put I'm acting like side. this. You supposed to be my side. Don't touch me. What you mean don't touch you? Oh, what you mean? You my wife, I can't touch my wife now? Oh, uh, but now I'm your wife. But when you're kissing those bitches, I'm not your wife. I don't give a fuck about none of those bitches out there. Them hoes just booty calls, you my wife. Those you are know just booty calls, I'm your wife. wife? That's all it is. So you fuck them and you fuck me? Psh. You can fucking say that. Come on. <laughs> Hey, you acting like a crazy woman. I'm acting like a crazy woman. Yeah. I'm the one who's crazy right here. Yeah, like. I'm found that girl. What? I said found that girl. Shut the fuck up if you prefer. Why are you disrespecting me like that? Because you fucking disrespect me too. Like now I'm like a shit in front of my family and in front of my friends and in front of everybody. So you give all this shit up. I care about you. I don't care about this shit, okay? So you let them break up our marriage? You. I'm the one who is breaking up our marriage right now. No, I love you. Don't even touch me. Yeah. What do you mean don't touch you? I fucking own you. You own me? Yes, I own you. You own me, nigga? You own me. Daddy, 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 daddy. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, you okay? Man, I'm trying to tell you. When you want no good as girl, eh? a bad girl, we want mash up. Some girl are going to the dance and can't dance, that can't work. Want a bad girl in the dance, them can't chance. Some if you tell a girl, come and give me that girl, come give me that girl, come and give me that girl, come give me that girl, come and give me that girl, come give me that girl, come and give me that girl. We want you turn back with, on the left now turn back with, on the right we want you turn back with. Gotta check out like a real style down hoe. <laughs> like, that's the show. Hey man, see if she got a friend. Hook me up. Yeah, you got a friend for my boy. Yeah, she said dick. Give head. Okay, bring that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, geez, 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 what's up, man? I want to break up the romance, but check it out, dog. This is what I'm talking about here. Half for you, half for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And there's no, I'm straight, oh, man. There's more good. where that came from, man. I'm saying awesome. paid in full, man. But, dog, we need to go pro, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm tired of this bullshit money here, dog. Yeah, bring that bitch, too. Mm -hmm. All of them. Matter of fact, where your mama at? But I'm telling you like this, dog. We need to get some pro fights, man. Make that real money, you know what I mean? Shit, this one on me, fella. About time something on you. Shit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Tiger? Hey, yo. Tiger Hogan. Who are you? Pleasure to meet you, man. My name is Holyfield. I got something set up for you. Before I go there, I want to apologize for what happened to you in the Olympics, man. I saw that. That was a long time ago. 
What do you want from me? Uh-huh. Snapchat me that pussy. You ain't got snap. Go FaceTime me that pussy. Hey, G, G, hang up the fucking phone, man. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Yeah, uh, something going on over here, dog. Hang up the phone. Yeah, let me call you back. As I was saying, I'm a professional boxing promoter. Man. Hey, yeah, I've seen that dude on TV, man. Man, hold up, hold up, wait, let, 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 me, let me get something straight, man. My name's Ali, all right? And I'm, I'm Tiger Hogan's manager, you understand what I'm saying? So you want to talk to Tiger Hogan, you're going to talk to me first. We clear? Yeah, that's cool. All right. Hey, Ali, man. Ali, nice to meet you. Mr. Hogan, like I was saying, there you go, bro. I'm a professional oh, yeah. boxing promoter, and I'm trying to put you back in the game. And I want to put you back in the ring, if that's all right. I got a setup for you and Manny Mayweather. You win him, you become the number one contender, and you get a shot at the title. Hold on, man. You talking about the killer? No, I don't know about fighting killer. No, man. hold up. Back up. Back up. Wait for that. I'd like to put time, you man. back Let's in the go, ring, dog. man. Let's hey, kick man. rocks, homie. Come on, dog. This yeah, guy ain't no good, man. Let's go. I'm going to fight the king. It's a $20 million purse. Hey. Uh, did you say $20 million? Hold on. Can we get oh, another man. shot over here? On oh, him, yeah, you, Whatever you drink, man, he got it. That's, that's right. What yeah. is 15% of 20 million? That's, that's enough. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know yeah. yeah. I apologize about it earlier, man. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. You know, the drink. Man. Just well, it'll be more like 12 million after taxes. But I think that's a good payout for uh, one fight. We gon' party tonight. Pop them bottles. Get drunk tonight. Sip, see, girl, don't you for sun fight. She with me, you with me. All right. All right, bring the party tonight. I got a question, dog. What does my boy need in order to go pro? That's what I want to know. You got it already. He needs to be physically fit, have got prior that. experience in fighting, which you do, and have your dues paid up. Check. Done. All right. Oh, and a trainer. You need a trainer. I don't need a trainer. That's what's up. Hey, my boy's all natural, man. We ain't worry about no trainers. He, he ain't necessarily got a training, but he got to be in his corner. He gonna have to have somebody in his corner. This one up for the ladies. Mm -hmm. Check this out, man. What the fuck you doing? Wait, give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Boom! Right there. Oh, shit! Is this who I think it is? Tiger Hogan. Southpaw. Olympic bronze medalist. <laughs> Listen! He still got the record for the quickest knockout. Six seconds first round. He got a fucked up deal, though. I remember that. Me too. He fought through everybody and it was a breeze. Until Barry. But he knocked his ass out. I remember, I remember. Three seconds, third round. Wh where has he been? Who cares? He's a beast and he's exactly what we need. We got him. Sound like some paper to me. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Leonard. I'm going to promote you. Yeah, fuck. So what do you think is going to happen? So do you think Tim is going to be a first round? Do you really think you're going to be a first round? Do you really think you're going to win this? Do you really think you're going to win this? Manny Mayweather, why did you turn down the fight with the Guatemala? Did it have anything to do with Buster Hearn's death? Are you scared? Man, I ain't never scared. I ain't scared of no Guatemala motherfucker. It ain't do shit with shit. You better respect me. You better put some respect on my name. So why did you turn down the fight? Man, I don't pick the fights. They tell me who was next, and I knock them the fuck out. That's what the fuck I do. Sir, you're just a puppet. I ain't nobody puppet. You better ask somebody. I come over there and smack the shit out you. You better ask somebody out here about me. I'm fucking star. Look at me and make a wish, bitch. You're somebody's puppet. Can I get a, can I get a real question? This bitch over here want to act stupid shit. What do you think, Tim? Are you, think, are you ready to face a fighter as powerful and unpredictable as Tiger Hogan? Man, I'm ready for whatever. I'm young, cocky, and I feel like Rocky. I'm the greatest. You're a disgrace. I ain't no disgrace. 
I'm the best thing that ever happened to boxing. They tell you, they all tell you. You a disgrace, bitch. Your mama should have flushed. You know what? Fuck this interview. So what do you think is gonna happen? Right? It's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna be a fun time. Well, glory hallelujah. Hogan, it's good to see you, son. <laughs> How you doing, Bugs? Where have you been all this time? I haven't seen you since... Since the Olympics. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry about what happened. But don't worry, the cream always rises to the top. So what are you doing here today anyway? You're not gonna ask me to put my name on no goddamn grill, are you? Because I'm not doing it. <laughs> no way, Bugs. Actually, though, I'm fighting Manny Mayweather. And I was thinking that maybe you... Let me guess. You want me to train you? That's great. Because I have this new routine that will take you to the next level. Hold on. It will make you bigger, stronger, and faster. Nah, Bugs. None like that. I don't need you to train me. I don't train. You don't train? Why not? Been there, done that, man. Wake up early. Work out all day, go to bed early. No drinking, no smoking, no parties, no pizza, no pussy. No pussy. <laughs> Come on. And it still didn't stop them from stealing my glory. So now, I just do whatever the hell I want to. And I haven't lost a fight yet. You know, there's an old saying. You fight like you train, and you train like you fight. What's your point? If you don't train, how do you fight? I go into beast mode. Beast mode? What the heck is a beast mode? I think about all the bad things that's happened in my life. Makes me desperate for a change. Turns me into a beast. Well, the only thing I have to say is your fight. It's your funeral. I hate to say I told you so. So you're not gonna help me? If you wanna win this fight, you need a trainer. You know, Hogan, I wish you'd reconsider. You sure you're not on steroids? Beast mode, huh? I'm in. Let's do it. Bugs, Stay away from my fighter. Are you really gonna be training Hogan on this fight? You're not welcome here. Boxy Foreman, do you think that Hogan is ready to fight? A professional and seasoned fighter as anyone else. So do you think you're going to go to the head by the gate and leave? All right, so that's for it. So what is going to happen? You think you're going to win? Yeah, but first of all, if you get to be a... Get the hell off my property now! She want that phrase. 
she want that John. Hey, what's up, T? What's up? What's up with old girl from last night? Stop, man. I had to cut her loose. She was getting too clingy. You better let her cling on to your ball. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Come on, when you gonna settle down, man? You can't fuck everything. Come on, man. Look who's talking. I could do that, nigga. I'm chocolate. You more like a pecan, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, how bad she got a beat up? Our girl would have to be damn fine for me to even consider settling down. What if the baddest chick you could imagine just knocked on your door today? The baddest girl? I would, but what are the odds of something like that actually happening? Uh, hold up, man. Somebody's at my door. Why, nigga? You didn't pay your bill? Hey, Tiger. Dog, you will not believe this shit. The finest girl I've ever seen is at my door right now. Did you send me a stripper? Hell, motherfucking nice. Hey, I'm gonna call you right back. I'm gonna call you back. Hi. Uh. It's Glory. Glory. Nice to meet you. How may I help you? I'm a reporter for the TBZN News, and I had a few questions to ask you if you have the time. Sorry, I'm not taking interviews at this time. But for you, I'll make an exception. Really? Yeah. If. You let me take you out to dinner. Are you trying to put the moves on me, Tiger? Trying to sweep me off my feet? Oh, nah. I just don't like talking on an empty stomach, that's all. So you're gonna answer all of my questions? Anything that I ask? Whatever you ask. But one question per date. You drive a hard bargain, but I give. Come in. You make me feel things from so deep within. So, Glory, do you like being a reporter? I love being a reporter. It's my passion. I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. And if you could go back in time and interview any three people, who would it be? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm, Bob Marley for sure, Tupac Shakur, and Bruce Lee. Good choices, but why them? I'm fascinated by men who want to change the world, not just live in it. There's a story of this boy that grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. He wanted to learn how to box to seek vengeance on his stolen bicycle. Did he ever get his bike back? Nah, he never got his bike back, but he grew up to be the three-time heavyweight champion of the world. His name was Muhammad Ali. He never declined an autograph or turned a fan away from a picture, and he became the greatest of all time. So why did you want to become a fighter? I lived at a foster home in Compton. It was a nightmare. Everyone was mean to me. Except Steffi. Cooper head, you little sissy, can't fight yourself. You ugly little sissy butthead. Don't let things people say bother you. Sticks and stones may break your bones. My words will never hurt. You have a visitor, but first, you must promise me that you'll be obedient and that you'll be on your best behavior. Cross your heart. Cross my heart. Hello, Tiger. Hello. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're my mom. Yes, I am. And I am so happy to see you. What happened to your face? The boys don't like me. They always bully me.
Don't you worry. I'm not going to ever let anybody hurt you again. Come here. A boy comes to me with a spark of interest. I feed the spark and it becomes a flame. I feed the flame and it becomes a fire. I feed the fire and it becomes a roaring blaze. Go ahead, honey. It's gonna be okay. But everybody is bigger than me. It's not the size of the man in the fight. It's the size of the fight and the man. Don't worry. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Tiger. Tiger? Well, that's a cool name. So you want to learn how to box, huh? Yes, I do. Show me what you got. Oh, that's a good one. Good punch. Come on, keep going. You're pretty strong. My darling Hogan, know that I have plans for you. Plans to help you grow. And plans to see you prosper. Plans to give you hope and a future. So do not fear, for I am always with you. I will guide and protect you. I will strengthen you and help you rise to the top. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Always believe in yourself. Make your dreams become reality, for you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Strive to change the things you can, accept the things you can't, and have the wisdom to know the difference. Promise me that you will always be on your guard. Stand firm in what you believe. Be strong, be fearless, be kind, and be loved. And let success be your greatest form of revenge. Hey, Tiger. What are you doing? Practicing boxing. Wow. Who taught you how to do all that? Coach Bugsy. Okay, he said if I practice hard, I'll be the world champion. Oh, well, that sounds good. Well, honey, you need to go to bed. Off to bed you go. Come on, baby. Are you going to stay with me forever? Yes, my love. I'm not going anywhere, and I will always be with you forever. What happened to your face? Are you being bullied too? Baby, mommy is just clumsy. She just hit her face on the cabinet. Don't you worry, okay? If someone bullies you, you can tell me so I can beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> My knight in shiny armor, oh. let me tuck you in. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to pray. I don't know a prayer. Can you teach me one? Okay, I will. It's a special prayer. It's called the fighter's prayer. Is that my fighter? <laughs> yes, honey. Because you're a fighter. Now repeat after me. I am a fighter. I am a fighter. There are many others, but none like me. There are many others, but none like me. I will master my craft. I will master my craft. I will become legend. I will become legend. My mind is my weapon. My mind is my weapon. And the world is my battlefield. And the world is my battlefield. Pain is the weakness leaving my body. Pain is the weakness that's leaving my body. It is a punishment for my mistakes. It's a punishment for my mistakes. If I fall, I will get back up. If I fall, I will get back up. Losing is not an option, so I will never give up. Losing is not an option, so I'll never give up. Fighting is my only hope. Fighting is my only hope. Fighting is my life. Fighting is my life. I will fight with all my heart. I'll fight with all my heart. I will be the last man standing. I will be the last man standing. I love you, Mom. I love you more, baby. This is not a title fight, it's a stepping stone. I'm like a train, 
He get on my track. Bam! You would smash. He says he's gonna knock me out, but talk is cheap. It's easier said than done. He's not on my level. I'm the best to ever live. I'm gonna cut him open. I'm gonna spill his blood. He's gonna feel my wrath. I'm gonna hit him so hard his grandkids gonna feel the pain. I'm gonna break his arms. I'm gonna break his ribs. I'm gonna demolish him. I'm on my victory lap. I'm going out with a bang. I am a fighter. This is what I do. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger Hogan fighting Money Man Mayweather. Introducing in the red corner, the one, the only, Manny the Money Man Mayweather. Yo, cock it, feel like rock it. Look at the size of the beast that's out it. Why the game's over, I kill him the fastest. Young Mr. Clean Boy, better than fastest. He can't stand it, I'll catch them stand it. Look at the trouble from when he's in the chop it. Scott sent him in here, oh, they're my watchman. Sit, play. Take him down. Rule number one, stay pretty, man. You do not want to get your ass whipped down here. I am not going to the club with you with big ass bruises on your face, bro. Put him up. Get out there and give him hell. Put him up. Put him up. Got you. Put him up. We went through this crazy. You guys know the rules. And the fighters okay. stand Give me a clean fight. Mayweather refuses to touch the gloves with his hook. I'm gonna touch you this to your face, motherfucker. I can feel the tension, guys. One of the most anticipated fights of the evening. We are in for a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger Hogan with a stiff jab. Ho Mayweather with a solid right hand. Stiff jab by Mayweather. Mayweather to the body. to the body and to the head. Right hand combo by Manny Mayweather. I gotta say, Mayweather is looking good. Tiger Hogan looks off balance. He hasn't been in the ring in over five years. Hogan is throwing that jab out there. Mayweather to the body, to the body, and Mayweather is going in. Oh, my, he's trying to end this now. Tiger Hogan is in trouble. Oh, and there's the bell saving Hogan. That's my sense, ladies and gentlemen. Mayweather has just taken the fight to Hogan. Good, man. Good. What the hell's going on out there? What happened to Beast Mode? Is that it? It's not working right now. Look, look, listen. If you keep putting down the left hand, two jobs are side, side to the left. I'm murdering. Come on, come on. Remember what I taught you. Go out there and do the beast mode like you said. That's right. Beast mode. Make him feel the pain. Let's go. The fighters enter the ring and oh, he slips. He ducks. Tiger hoping on the attack. Stick that. Mayweather back up on his feet. Oh, he is angry. Big left hand followed up by an uppercut by Hogan. Left, right, left by Hogan. Mayweather pushes Tiger Hogan into the road. Right, left, right, combo. Stiff jab. Oh, Mayweather headbutts Tiger Hogan. And Hogan goes down. I don't know if he's 
going to get back after that. Head by the The ref takes a point from Mayweather and gives him a warning. Tiger Hogan is angry. Oh my gosh, Tiger Hogan is charging like a raging bull. Oh, dangerous left hand by Hogan. Oh, and Mayweather's down and he is not getting back up. One, two, three. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger Hogan has won the bout, and he is the beast. So don't give up your fight. Place my head on your shoulders. Kiss you softly. Congratulations on winning a great fight. <laughs> Thank you. What's in the box? It's a surprise, but first, let's make a toast. A toast to what? To glory. Now, are you gonna tell me what's in the box? Yeah, this is my amazing box of illusions. Let me see what you got. All right, but it's gonna cost you. I have to pay? Yeah, you have to pay. Nothing in this world is free. What about love? That's not free. You gotta put in time. Time is money. So, how much? One hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? You must be crazy. You can afford it. This better be worth it or you're gonna be leaving here with two black eyes. <laughs> Alright, you got a deal. You know what? On the second thought, because you look so good tonight, I'm gonna give you a chance to win your money back. Give me your hand. Now, you can have your money back if and only if you can close your hands before I take it. All right? Okay. On a count of three. One. Two, three. <laughs> How did you do that? Magic. Aw, I love magic. I now open the floor for questions. So my first question for tonight is, when was your first fight? Heroin is an incredible drug. Like a thief in the night, it creeps within your soul. It turns a man into a monster. Been 
what? Back on that shit. Back on the pipe. I haven't used drugs since I was pregnant with Hogan. So what is it? Another nigga? The show can't be about a job. Where the fuck the money at? Johnson. I don't have to answer to you. You ain't my daddy. Understood. Where the hell is Ali? I don't know. I haven't heard from him. I'ma call him now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's the homie right there, hold on. <laughs> Yo, Hogan, what's up, Doc? We're at the press conference. Where are you, man? Man, don't worry about where I'm at, dog. I'm getting us paid, homie. The fuck Ladies and gentlemen, you we're now open you the floor what? to questions. Oh, man. Hey, I got it. He's not coming. Damn it. Mr. Robinson, what's poppin' homeboy? 
Chilling, dog. You good? That's right, bro. You got a little something, something for me, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. The money, money. Let me check this out. This ain't a hundred with a bunch of ones in the middle, right? We got some straight shit. Okay, we good. We good. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got nothing else. Man. Touch your hand, All right, man. Hey, don't need so much. Jopin, Jopin, you think you're gonna kill him? You think you're gonna lie? What are you guys coming here? Hogan, Hogan, do you think you stand a chance against the Guatemalan, having the legendary Bugsy Foreman as your trainer? I stand as much a chance as anyone else, but I don't train. A tiger in the jungle doesn't train. He uses instinct. So do I. Hogan will do well as he always does. I've taught him everything he needs to know years ago. I'm only here for moral support. Hogan, do you think you're gonna last Are even five rounds against Shaheen? Shaheen, do you have any knockout predictions? I train for 12 round fights. But him, he won't make it past the first. Shapin, do you think you're gonna knock him out in five rounds this time? That's a bold statement, Shapin, considering Hogan's Olympic record and how easily and quickly he defeated Manny Mayweather. The only fighter critics think will give you a run for your money. Manny Mayweather was a great fighter. But Tiger Hogan didn't fight the real Mayweather. He fought a broken down, guilt filled, disgraced version of him. This guy has signed his death warrant. He has no chance against a monster like me. How do you feel about that, Hogan? My fans believe in me, my team believes in me, and I believe in myself, and that's all that matters. Fuck what he's talking about. Like the saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Hogan will demolish you, you Guatemalan piece of shit. He doesn't deserve a title shot. I will put you and your team to shame. Because you guys are nothing. You and your team are nothing. You, specifically, are just a little street rat. Street rat? Say that shit to my face, punk ass bitch. Hey, you think you're gonna knock five in five rounds for this guy? Maybe you can do it. Come on, man, let's do this. The night before, God came down and told me myself that I will murder you in the ring. Yeah, murder you. You will forgive me for murdering you. Don't and then after that, I'm gonna take your bitches and make them become my bitches. And then I'm gonna find your dead body, put your face down, ass up, I'm gonna rape your asshole and tear that shit up. Now listen, he's full of shit. This is so beautiful. It's amazing. It's my hiding place. My great escape. This is where I come when I just want to get away. I know what you mean. Sometimes I wish I was a bird. Sometimes I wish I could just spread my wings, fly away and leave all my troubles behind and never come back. Can I come with you? Yes, if you really want to. I do. <clears throat> so, you have another question for me? I do. Tell me what happened at the Olympics. What can I tell you that you haven't already heard? The truth. I breezed through all my contenders, knocking them out left and right. And then it was down to me and Barry. Barry couldn't keep up. By the third round, he had nothing left. He swung wild. I ducked, hit him with a three-piece combo. Bop, bop, bop. Knocked his ass out cold. The crowd went wild. But it was all in vain. The ref said that. He called off the fight before I landed that last left hook. Normally something like that would cost me a point. But I was disqualified. And what did you do? I tried to reason with him. But he wouldn't listen. So I knocked his ass out too. 
Oh my God, you're so bad. Then I ran away. I promised myself I'd never set foot into a boxing ring again. So, what made you decide to fight again? You think you're slick, huh? You trying to slip one by me? It's not for the story. I want to know for me. I became a hustler, selling dope on a corner. But I was not good at it. Hey, y'all got an extra cigarette I can get from you, bro? Oh, shit, good looking, bro. Appreciate this shit. But y'all stay up though, bro. Appreciate it. One love. So my boy, you got that for me? I know, my boy. I need that flight, that A1 Perico. That's all I have. Fight, holler. What's up, man? You kind of light. What's up with that? Oh, shit. You know how it is out here in L.A., man. That's not my problem. What does that have to do with me? He ain't got it, I got it. Don't worry. All right, man. What happened? Hey, one more thing, bro. You under arrest. Oh, shit. Put your fucking hands up right now, nigga. Don't move. I swear to God, I'll shoot your fucking ass right now in the fucking face. Turn the fuck around right now if I bust one in your motherfucking ass, nigga. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. How long were you there for? I did six months on a plea bargain. Then I got out. Every time I see this bitch out with her homegirls and shit, she looking bad to the motherfucker. I'll take her out, she looking like ancient mine. You good? That's the guy right here. Nah, that's not him, though. I'm telling nah, you, that ain't him, bro. Trust me when I tell you, yeah, dog. This is him right here. It's, that's not him. It's this dude right here. This, that can't be him. Nah, I know for a fact it is, man. Hey, trip out, man. Your name Tiger Hogan, right? Yeah. I told you, so I know what, my man? fighters, dog. Come on, bucks on. Man, I ain't got it. My name Tyson, man. I'm a fan. They said you was going to be one of the greats, bro. Yeah. So, what the fuck happened? Life happened. I hear that. Trip out, man. You want some pizza? They be giving up the pizza, man. I put in on this out Sure, man. Let him have a slice, man. Shut up, man. Come on. You act like we put the pizza on layaway shit. Yo, this generous motherfucker right That's here. That's Ali. That's pepperoni right there, homie. Man, you tearing that shit up. Damn, you hungry, dog. You ain't playing <laughs> shit. You ain't swallowing. Get my slice, man. Hey, check this out, man. I got a little something, something for you, man. You want to make some money? What makes you think I need money? Uh, the fact that you eating that pizza like a freed slave. Man, why you gotta clown his ass, man? We trying to do a business deal, man. Shit, he gonna eat up all the damn pizza. Doing what? I'm talking about getting back in the ring. What you think? Mm -mm -mm. Nah, man. I gave up boxing. You say anything about boxing, man. I'm talking about fighting. Yeah, man. Real fighting, man. Street fight, bare knuckle type shit. Ali over here is one of the dopest promoters in the game, man. You really I need bet. money, man. So you win or what? Mm. We don't play over here, man. I'm talking about that serious money. We grind too much. Rich, bro. It's that real shit, oh, right? Yeah. Think long, you think wrong, man. Scared money don't make no. Let's do it. Hey, hey get us a shot. Yeah, Hell turn yeah. up. Celebrate, Celebrate homeboy. boy. We're on the team, on the team now, now, dog. Thank you. Okay, two of those. Everything mm. at the top shelf. Appreciate it. Charge mm. him. Y'all take EBT? There you have it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It's an amazing story. Thank you for sharing it with me. You're welcome. So, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> oh.
Body your water right now, you're going get it. Position for your body right now, me want to set it. Squeeze up the breath like a fresh piece of lettuce. Girl, me now rum, girl, me ready for go with it. Press by your body like me a send message. Any style you want, girl, you ever get it. You should have known me at the bedroom chemist. Fuck money, big girl, me prefer it. Yeah, it's clear. Me can see it in your face that you want me. And I'm mourning when me touch it up Cocky and still like bees by your only cup From me looking at your eyes, me know you want to fuck But me cocky head, y'all come cocky top Walk up with something at your space like a little ant truck Hey Bugs How do I look? Sharp as a knife Dress up, no push back foot <laughs> Now that's funny Who taught you how to say that Bugs? Nelly did you know, I can remember it like it was yesterday. The first time your mother brought you to the old boxing gym. She didn't have a penny to her name. Which didn't matter because most of the guys didn't either. I allowed them in because they loved it. And it kept them off the street. But your mother, she was so honorable. She would never take a hand out. She insisted that every night she would come after closing and clean the gym. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck you been in every night. Boy, let me tell you, that gym has never been that clean ever since. She took so much pride in what she did. She was never late. And one night, she didn't show up. And she didn't call. And I knew my heart that something was wrong. And when I heard the news the next day, I was devastated. So I promised her that I would always look out for you. So you can imagine how I felt when you ran off after the Olympics. So I want to ask you from the bottom of my heart, if after a fight, no matter the outcome, win or lose, if you wouldn't mind sticking around for a while, You got a deal, Bugs. Look, come on. They're waiting on you. Bugs. I'm nervous as fuck. Well, just imagine everybody in the audience naked. But there is no audience. Then you're SOL. Shit out of luck. <laughs> come on, let's do it. <laughs> I'm Jim Brown from TBZN Sports in Las Vegas, Nevada, and on pay-per-view, two of the greatest fighters of this era will engage in battle for the heavyweight title. The Guatemalan, Chapina Guate, and Tiger Hogan. But right here, right now, they will come face to face. Gentlemen, at the press conference, things got a little out of hand. Are we going to be all right today? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Belize versus Guatemala. That's the greatest rivalry in the history of professional boxing. But this isn't just a fight between two top athletes. No. This is a fight between two countries. How does it feel to be representing Guatemala in this fight? This is war. I would destroy him as my country would destroy his. And you, Hogan? I'm honored to fight for my country and I'll do it with pride. Hogan, at the press conference, the Guatemalan called you a street rat and stated that you don't deserve a shot at the title. What do you have to say about that? I am from the streets, and you don't know what I've been through. I was born in prison. I grew up in foster homes. Lost my mom at an early age. So instead of you focusing on whether or not I have what it takes to win, you should worry about the fact that I have nothing to lose. Chapin, the only time you've been hit significantly is by a southpaw. Here's a southpaw 
with incredible speed and unbelievable punching power. Does that trouble you at all? No, it doesn't. Many have tried to take me down, and all of them have failed. A southpaw is just a boxer gone retarded. It will make no difference in his defeat. Hogan, you're getting ready for a fight that seems beyond you. Eight to one odds in favor of the Guatemalan, even with your magnificent punching power. Winning this fight seems pretty far-fetched given the size of your opponent. What do you have to say about that? It's not the size of the man in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the man. I am the greatest. No one, no one can defeat me. Those who humble themselves will be exalted. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled. In his last fight, your opponent, the Guatemalan, recently nicknamed Killer, beat Buster Hearn so badly that Hearns fell into a 10-day coma, leading to his tragic death. He's bigger than you, he's faster than you, and he's stronger than you. How do you plan to overcome this? Wait, 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 wait. He can't. Hearns was a mistake. Your death in the ring is preordained. There's only one thing you need to know about me. And it's that I'm not afraid to die in a boxing ring. You're bigger than me, faster than me, stronger than me. But if you get inside that ring with me, it's either I'm gonna beat you or I'm gonna die trying. Cause no matter what happens, I'm not gonna give up. And no matter how many times you knock me down, I will get back up. So what's up? You ready to die, motherfucker? That's the time we have for today on Face to Face. I'm Jim Brown. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful evening. Get some more drinks. Come on. Yes, we need those drinks. Exactly. So there you guys go. That's what's up. Here, one for you. All right, let me take care of this business. I'll give you guys a little. Right. Robinson. How you doing, brother? Good, good. There you go, Hogan. What's up, my man? What's this about, Ali? This guy I've been telling you about. Mr. Robinson? Mr. Robinson? That's the man right there. Tiger Hogan. Tiger Hogan. Today is your lucky day. Do you believe that you can lose and still win? Yeah, but what does that have to do with me? Six million dollars for you. Look at it. When you lose this fight, you're gonna fall in four like God's more. You're gonna throw this fight. You're gonna be a rich man. You're gonna have money. Is he serious? Money. Is he serious? We can make a lot of cash on this one, bro. This is a lot of money. Here's the thing, though. If I lose this fight knowing that I gave it my all, then all I lose is a fight. But if I lose for you, then I lose my dignity. And you ain't got enough money to buy that. Is this how it is? I've done for you. It's time for you to do for me. What did he do for you, Ali? What is he talking about? Tell him, Ali. I paid Mayweather. To throw the fight so that you would have a chance to fight for the championship of the world. To fight the Guatemalan. When you lose to the Guatemalan, you're going to have lots of money. Lots of money. I don't care what you say. I beat Mayweather on my own. Fair and square. Is that what you think? Hold, hold, hold. Kick back. Relax, relax. You're not looking at the big picture here, man. I'm trying to tell you, dog, this is business. And business is business, and business means money. You understand what I'm saying? This is serious money right here, dog. Take it easy. Throw that away. Get your hand off me, or I'm gonna rip it off and beat you to death with it. Hogan, relax, man. Yeah. You're fired. I'm out of here. Where is he going? Hogan. Where are you going? 
Mr. Robinson, don't, don't trip, all right? I'm gonna take care of this. I got this. You can trust me. You got my word. You're better. You're better. Or it's lights out. Small bitch, not trust none of them when I wear past six. Smiling on your face, them waggy your six. Them sell out, just forget rich. Dog a war dog, me no play my good thing. Oh. Chat to the Sarge against an hostage. Real friends, we power with them now. This touch the road, we are home fist. A my life, real life. Yeah, me know why come the way them feel like. No for them, I know how it feel like. So me give thanks, we are free life. Living the life, and I'm hoping. Pain is the weakness leaving my body. It is the punishment for my mistakes. It is the punishment for my mistakes. God damn, I almost shot you. What are you doing here? You okay, son? I can't believe it, Bugs. Same bullshit is happening all over again. What do you mean? The Mayweather fight was fixed, and so was the fight against the Guatemalan. They just tried to get me to take the fall. It was Ali, huh? I can't stand that cocksucker. Yeah. And I never had a chance. Listen, son. The only way you don't have a chance is if you're too scared to stand up and fight! But you gotta want this. Cause the other guy wants it bad. And he's a monster. He's a killing machine. He's gonna knock you out the first round or he's gonna spend the next 12 rounds trying to kill you. But he's not gonna succeed. He's SOL. Shit out of luck. Cause he's against the tiger beast with a body of iron and hands of steel. But if I couldn't even beat Mayweather on my own, how am I gonna beat the Guatemalan? Let me tell you how. You're gonna beat him with heart and soul, muscle and skill. You already have the heart and soul, but to gain muscle and skill, you have to train. You train like you fight, and you fight like you train. Let me train you. So what do you say? So what now? Are we gonna go to the old gym? We don't need the old gym. We got everything we need right here. One. Two. Three. Keep going, come on, keep pumping. Six. Another one. Seven. Come on. Come on, keep going. Bunch of iron. Here's a steel. Get those arm moving, 
Keep going. Train like you're fighting. Fight like you're trained. Dude, that's straight. Get it hard. Body of iron. Hands of steel. 97. Uh. Manny, I gotta tell you tonight, you are looking money as always. Oh yeah, you know I gotta come through my black and black, get with my Obama finish. You know who you look like tonight? You look uh, like Donald Trump over there, man. Oh, there <laughs> your, we are, the with Donald. Your, with your red tie, you got the red, white, and blue on, uh, you got it popping. I take that as a compliment, <laughs> money. It's the fight of the century, ladies and gentlemen, oh, between yeah. Chopin, the Guatemalan, the champion, and the contender, Tiger Hogan. Oh. I cannot stay. You have to do this alone. But mom, I'm scared. I have something that I want to give to you. Do you know what this is? They're cashews. Yes, you're right. But they're a special kind of cashew. They're called Courage Pellets. Do you know what courage is? Yes, it's what makes you brave. That's right. So whenever you are scared, you just eat one, and they will give you courage. There are many others, but none like me. 
I will master my craft. I will become a legend. My hands are my weapons, and the ring is my battle. Pain is the weakness leaving my body. It is a punishment for my mistakes. If I fall, I will get back up. Losing is not an option, so I will never give up. Fighting is my only hope. Fighting is my life. I will fight with all my heart. I will be the last man standing. That's my dog. Yo, Hogan gonna knock that motherfucker out. You talking about that little dude right there? Don't worry about the size, dog. Hogan got this. He only won a few fights, man. Oh boy, big time. It don't matter, though. He beat everybody down, no matter who it is. Hogan knocked this motherfucker out, man, like eight feet tall. Boop, 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 boop. Man. There you going with them little Belizean fairy tales, no, man. No, man, I believe in Hogan like I'm gonna put my money up. You want to bet? I'm about to break your pockets tonight, man. I'm break my Put your pocket. money up, dog. Put your money up. I got whatever you got. Miss Cleo got me. She told me I was going to win this shit. How much Miss Cleo tell you to put on? $1,500. My rent money. You got that? You know Miss Cleo did, right? Shapina's huge. He's got oh, yeah. the power. Man. Hogan's got the speed. I'm telling you, and Shapina's got that right hook. Ooh. He is a battleship. That boy cold. And Manny, as you know, Tigers. Got that left uppercut. What would you compare that punch to when you guys fought last time? Oh, man, it felt like a sledgehammer. That boy cut right through you. Unbelievable. He, he, he's smaller than, than the Guatemalan, but he's got the heart of a tiger. Yeah, it's like David and Goliath. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going into the ring. The announcer's going to give the tail of the tape. Let's go there now. How about this crowd, Money? Oh, this crowd is amazing. It's a beautiful crowd out here. 35,000 strong. The whole city out. And you know the whole country back home, pay-per-view. They're watching this fight, Money. Yeah, I think the whole world is watching this fight tonight. All right, let's go inside the ring. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. The underdog, standing six feet two inches tall and weighing 206 pounds, wearing red trunks with gold trim. The street fighting icon is described as a magnificent slugger with a record of one win, one loss, one win by way of knockout. He hails from Los Angeles, California by way of Belize. Please welcome the heavy-handed Fida, the self-made legend and street fighting star of the internet, the one, the only, Tiger, the Beast, Hogan! So no boy can play the fire. Remember David in Slugger Lion. Put the place down like a riot. We are making history. No more one in the world like Kobe Bryant. The champion there, the champion there, the champion there. Yeah. Real bad man there, bad man there, bad man there. The champion there, champion there, the champion there. Hogan, you got it, man. You got it, dog. I believe in you. And his opponent in the blue corner. Man, that's a big motherfucker. I didn't know Guatemala's came that got there. Representing some of the finest boxing skills the world has ever seen. Two-time Golden Glove champion. He's recognized and known the world over as the most dangerous fighter of all time. Fighting out of Guatemala. Wearing blue trunks with white trim. Standing six feet four inches tall. He got titties, man. You cannot get beat up by a man with breath. He is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 52 wins, no losses, 52 wins by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Olympic gold medalist and boxing future Hall of Famer, the colossal, the volcanic, the reigning and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Chapin, the killer, 
El Guate. We are in for a fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A fight like Stallone versus Schwarzenegger. The fight is already. Let's get ready to rumble. Why the fuck he look Asian anyway? He don't know his dad. Japan looks like a god standing in the ring. Look at the size of the Guatemalan. My goodness, Japan starts off aggressively attacking Tiger Hogan. And bam, Hogan goes down. Oh, damn! Hey, come on, Hogan. Get in there. Hogan on the attack. Hogan's got Chapin backing up. He's got him into the ropes. But even after all those body blows, it doesn't seem to be bothering Chapin. Chapin takes back over. Pounding away at Tiger Hogan's body. Hogan stands no chance. He's got Hogan in the corner. Beating the body, moving to the head. Oh my goodness, he's got to have broken some of his ribs. Hogan goes down. Hogan's back up. Massive right hand. Hogan's down again. The Guatemalan has been dominating the fight. Tiger, Hogan is no match for the Guatemalan. Oh my, Hogan is saved by the bell. Your ass crazy, I would quit. Money, it looks like this fight's going to end no later than the yeah, third I round, just like Chapin had called it. Yeah, I didn't see this coming, honestly. I can't tell you. I, I'm amazed Hogan even got back to his stool. Man, that boy took some hits. His corners got their workout cut for him. Oh, yeah. How'd that dude corner wipe his ass? Has got to be wondering Fuck whether him. they should even let him continue the fight. You're too fast, man. He's slipping your punches. You can't just punch at him. You got to punch through him, bro. Strong. This big He's, motherfucker ain't hard to see. giving him advice, but I don't know what they could be telling him. Chapin is a mountain Remember of a who man. You are. You're a fighter. You're a tiger. You're oh, Tiger oh. Hogan. Punch through him. Hey, bring the pain. Body of iron. Hands of steel. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the beginning of round two. It better go better for Hogan this round. Otherwise, this fight is going to be ended early. Good Lord, I would not want to be Tiger Hogan right now. Chapin is literally trying to knock the daylight out of Tiger Hogan. Combination after combination. Oh my goodness, those kidney shots by Chapin are incredible. How is Hogan still standing? Massive right hand. Hogan goes down. Hogan's gonna be peeing blood tomorrow. There's no question about it. Oh my lord, Chapin is just taking batting practice one after the other. How is Hogan still upright? And Hogan goes down. Who could get up after a beating like that? Oh my god, Hogan is back on his feet. Come on, man. Get Look at Hogan. He's got a smirk on his face like. You can knock me down, but you can't hurt me. He's retaliating. What kind of heart does this boxer have? Chapin throws him into the corner. Left, right. He's got his back up against the ropes again. Oh, he's taking a beating blow after blow. Hogan escapes. He's turned Chapin around. Horrifying blow to the head. Oh, Chapin is hurt. He's down on the knee. He's like he's praying. To the mighty Hogan. And the crowd is going I wild. Was gonna get him, man. Chapin struggles to his feet. And now it's Hogan on the attack. And there's Tiger battling back. Body shot, head shot. Hogan's got Chapin backing up. He's got him into the ropes. Oh my gosh. Right hook to the jaw. Oh my. Dangerous left hook. Velocity. Oh, Hogan caves the bottom of his chest in. Tiger Hogan is here to fight. Oh, yeah, Hogan. Win this money, dog. Amazing comeback by Hogan.
Good lord, money. I can't believe Hogan's coming back oh, after man. taking a beating that he was. It's like that boy got the devil in him. He's got heart. <laughs> He's got heart. I tell you, Hogan stunned the Guatemalan there. Oh, Actually yeah. knocked him into the ropes. Yeah, this this fight, it started looking like a fight now. Unbelievable. Hogan's battling back. Oh, yeah. He can't. He, that boy got the juice. He's got the juice. You see, he's not even invincible. He's only human. That's right. Remember, you train like you fight, and you fight like you train. So go out there, Hogan. You're faster than him. You may be stronger, but you're faster. Put the fuck with your speed back. against him. That's right. You can counter him in every move. Right. You watch his legs, you watch his arm, and you counter him. Go right through him, you understand me? Come on, All man. Right. He's made of blood and bones. Just like everyone else. Now go spill his blood and crush his bones. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the beginning of round three. The Guatemalan towers over Tiger Hogan. This is like David and Goliath. 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 Champagne got Hogan into the ropes. He's knocked him down with a body blow. Here we are, round four, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe this fight is even still going. Stop this fight before somebody gets hurt. There's been a knockdown by each fighter in round six. Guatemalan is looking discouraged. That Guatemalan is ugly das pus back foot. <laughs> Continues. I don't know how much longer either one of these boxes should go. Ferocious left hook. The Hulk versus Wolverine. Oh my gosh, blood gushes from Hogan's nose. It's amazing he can still be standing. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. down on the canvas again. Horrifying blow to the head. Oh my gosh, Hogan oh, has taken the toll. A ferocious left hook. He's not Chapin down again. Chapin back to the body. Good Lord, this fight has now been named the Valentine's Day Massacre. Oh, no human being can take a beating like that and survive. be behind on the scorecards. I think he's going to need a knockout in this final and 12th round. Everything that you've been doing, we've been training for the this. The Guatemalan right? corners giving him recommendations. <laughs> what could they possibly be? He's thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Hogan. We'll not lose this fight. All right? you got to keep it up. We're almost there, okay? They're going back into their corners, and I tell you, Money, the heart of this fighter is absolutely amazing. Uh, unbelievable. i never seen nothing like it. Go on, Listen man. up. Shit. This is the 12th round. This is the moment of truth. We don't have no other rocket, man. This is it. This is it, baby. Let's go. Beat him like he stole some. I want you to dig deep inside you. Get all the pain out, all the struggles you've had, all the anger, the heartaches. And I want you to release on him. I want you to release the beast mode. Remember on, what you've learned. Now go out there and do the beast mode. Beast mode. Be the beast, man. Beast mode. Don't the beast train harder than us. They don't train harder than us. They don't get out of here and go harder than us. What are you 
an overhand right by Hogan and pummels him again. He's got him in the corner. The Guatemalan completely overpowers Hogan. Chapin throws Hogan in the corner, but oh my goodness, Hogan has turned him around and he's battling back. Again, Hogan's back in the corner. He's down. And he's back up against, ladies and gentlemen. And the barrage continues by Chapin. Oh, my Lord! Hogan turns Chapin around. He's got him in the corner. He's battling back. Chicken and pizza, anybody? Man, get out get the out way. The get way, out man. the way. Headshot, headshot. What a combination. Oh, Hogan has knocked Chapin through the ropes. This has turned into a street fight, ladies and gentlemen. And Hogan's turned back around. Oh, he saves himself. He's going down again. Hanging under the ropes, and here comes Chapin. Body shot, body shot, right hook. Oh, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Hogan could be done for the evening. Another, here it comes. Oh, an uppercut by Chapin. I think this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe Hogan can get back up off of the canvas after that barrage by Shuffy. Yeah. Who could possibly get back up after a beating like that? Legs are wobbly. Guatemala grabs Hogan in mere desperation. He's trying to hold on, but Hogan battling for his body. Blow after blow after blow. an uppercut sends Chapin to the canvas. He's on his back. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have seen it 
Oh. Hogan is standing over Shafiq. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Explosive uppercut. Now we Two, know why they call Hogan three, the hands of steel. Four, five. Oh seven, my lord, Shapit is going into convulsions. Eight, His mind nine, is nine, yes, ten. His body is telling him hell to the no. That's out in the here. You the out of here. Called the fight. Tiger Hogan reigns victorious. Go home, man. Give me my money and go home. Yeah. <laughs> 